Hey, what's up? I just wanted to do a quick video to talk about plant hardiness zones and how it's helped me choose the right plants that will thrive in my garden and how by looking at the hardiness zones map and understanding it, you're gonna be able to choose the best possible plants that will thrive in your garden. So what is the plant hardiness zones map? Well, it's a system that was developed by the US Department of Agriculture. It's not horticulture, so we're borrowing this from agriculturalists. And it was developed for them so that farmers could look at a map and see on it what the minimum winter temperature is going to be in their area and then decide the most appropriate crop to grow. We can do the same in our gardens. So my garden, for example, is zone nine, borderline 9B. That means that I can grow the same plants that survive winter as anybody else who's growing in zone nine wherever they are in the world, because these zones are transferable. And it's a much more accurate way of doing things than just reading on a plant's label when it says hardy, because that doesn't take into account where you are geographically on a country. Obviously the north of the UK, winters are a lot more extreme than in the south of the UK. Now, the system is set up in a way that each different zone is divided by its minimum winter temperature. And obviously winter temperature, as people that are growing tropical and exotic and tender plants, is one of the key things we worry about. And in the US it was set up so that each minimum temperature of each zone was 10 degrees Fahrenheit apart. So it's really nicely segmented. Now for me, because I'm zone nine, I can look online, I can speak to people on, Insta on Instagram from Florida, from New Zealand, from Portugal, find out what zone they are, if they're close to zone nine, if they're a bit warmer, a bit colder. And the way it works is the higher the number, the warmer the climate, the lower the number, the colder it gets. Um, because I knew I was zone nine, I could invest in plants like the Brassiopsis mitis and hardier bananas like Musa sicamensis, Musa basdu, Musa valentina. I can even push with that because it's known to be root hardy from that corn. It's just, a good system, a much better guide than just relying on plant labels. But it isn't without its shortcomings. It doesn't take into account rainfall. It doesn't take into account warm or cold microclimates. So if you've got a south facing garden, the back of your house could be basking in sun, that patio will be warming up and it will be much warmer than other gardens around you. And the front of your house in the same geographical area will be absolutely freezing and the front might be in a rain shadow, you might not get rain under the eaves of your house. So it doesn't take into account these other climatic things, but it does tell you minimum winter temperature. So for people like me that love growing tropical and exotic and tender plants, looking at the USDA hardiness zones map is a really good way to get a kind of a gauge on what I can get away with growing in my area. So just look that up, USDA hardiness zones, UK or whatever country you're in and you will see kind of what roughly what zone you sit in and then you can start your research and add more plants to that shopping list. I hope that helped. If it did please hit subscribe and I will see you all in the next video.